people and welcome to this video we are going to share with you the top things and must do's when you're here in Sandakan stick around till the end to see all the things you can do here in this beautiful town of Sandakan Sandakan Memorial Park! We quite fancy doing something a little bit different here in Sandakan and really like delve into the history of what took place here in this particular area. We've come here because it kind of ticks off two things in our little list of things that we do. First of all, we like a green space, we like walking around in the park and we like getting a bit of fresh air. So that's one thing. But second thing, we like a bit of history recently. We've become history buffs since we've been traveling. So I'm quite intrigued to find out what this war memorial is all about. Since we've been traveling as well, I just think it's nice to learn a little bit about the history and a bit about the place and what happened and just educating ourselves. I feel like we, or should I say me, have learned so much more since traveling than I did in school. And that's not a joke. From about 1941 onwards, if you know anything about World War II, the Japanese army swept through Southeast Asia and it basically brought Southeast Asia into World War II. What happened was from 1942 onwards, about 1,500 Australians, as well as 770 British personnel became prisoners of war and they were shipped from Singapore here in this prisoner of war camp. And they were all forced under Japanese order to build an airfield. Factual facts. And you know, we've been walking around in this park for like a few minutes now, and it's already nice, calm, peaceful environment just as you'd expect from any other park you know Sandakan's not really that much of a busy city or a big town to be fair it's quite relaxed there's not much traffic in comparison to places like Kuala Lumpur or Penang but as soon as you step into this park it's like literally you can hear a teeny bit of traffic like literally a little bit of cars passing by but because you're surrounded by trees these tall trees and just different plants all around the place you kind of get this feeling you're in the middle of a forest but within the town and it's quite nice i like it you know one thing else that's nice about this park you've got these little benches that are dotted all over the place and you can have a nice little picnicky. Mm. i like it that food i have to say looks really really nice is at a restaurant literally like down the bottom of the road before you turn in from the main road coming up to the memorial park and it's as local as you can get they did like chicken and rice they did the steam buns and that chicken and rice right one portion seven ringgit seven ringgit that's bargain buckets right there but i think we'll sit down and uh, enjoy a bit of this food because it is 11 30 and this is breakfast look at you can have some as well hey are you enjoying the park bubble hey. yeah that's a yes he's enjoying the park are you bubble <laughs> yeah so we're just heading back to the car now. We walked around the Memorial Park for about 10, 15 minutes, I'd say. It's not that big, and it's just one big massive loop that you can walk around. Yeah, you can walk up the stairs, but obviously pushchair, you know, we got to go around the pushchair friendly areas. Remember guys, get your mosquito spray on because this isn't a forest environment and those mozzies come out. My legs are itching right now. And my ankles, they love the ankles, don't they? Yeah, they do. Any bit of exposed skin, they will make their way. And if you're like me or Nadia, who are absolutely sweet people, they love the sweet blood. Well, they love Nadia because Nadia's so sweet. So sweet. So sweet. They always get me, never get you. So yeah, we're gonna head back to the car and uh, on to the next top thing to do here in Santa Cana. Oh, mobile is free. Okay, so we have a one camera. That's right, yeah. Yeah, it's Irfan. Yeah. Uh, UK. Okay, thank you. Terima kasih. <laughs> yes, we have made it here to Labuk Bay Probiscus Monkey Sanctuary and it's a bit weird, every time I say proboscis, I always think of hibiscus. Hibiscus, yeah, <laughs> I think that too. Hibiscus. 
Hibiscus. Hibiscus. It took us about 30 minutes from our hotel, which is actually in the centre of Sandakan. So it's not too bad of a drive. It's actually quite near Sepilok Orangutan Rehabilitation Centre. So if you are thinking of doing that, you can probably do them both in one day because they're quite close to each other. But the feeding times here at the sanctuary starts at 9.30 a.m. And then you've got another one in the afternoon, which is at 2.30 p.m. Well, Irfan's got a top tip to share with you guys. As you can tell, we've come in the afternoon feeding, which is at 2.30. And if you are traveling with a baby, if you are traveling as a family or you have a child, do yourself a favor and come to the morning feeding. Because you know what? Surprisingly, it's quite cool in the morning and in the afternoon, it gets hot. Who knew? Ooh. But anyway, as you could tell, you know, just like Field Division style, we've come at the most difficult time for us, 2.30, but you know what? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So let's go and check these proboscis monkeys out. So the proboscis monkey reserve, that's a bit of a mouthful right there, was set up because these are endangered species. These are native to Borneo, so you can only really find them here. But the reason why they're becoming endangered is because there's a whole wave of deforestation happening across the country, which is wiping out their natural habitat. And if you wipe out animals' natural habitat, they can't reproduce and they can't expand in numbers. One of the things that is causing these endangered species is palm oil plantation, right? I think everyone knows that in Malaysia, it is a massive thing. If you drive around, you will see fields upon fields upon fields. As far as the eye can see, big, massive plantations. And so many of them all dotted across, not just Borneo, but pretty much the whole of Malaysia. This sanctuary is set up literally in the middle of what looks like numerous plantations. I mean, I don't know if it's sponsored by the plantations that are nearby and they're basically helping to preserve these monkeys as well, which will be a good thing actually because it accepts a bit of responsibility. But that's just one thing that I observed when we were driving here. Ah, and we've just arrived and the guys have told us that they're waiting already. You're lucky they are here earlier. Oh, oh they're here earlier. They're hungry, eh? They're that is. feeding time. Oh, look, oh. there they are. We are here watching the viscous monkeys eating away and it's been an absolute magical experience just sitting there and watching these guys. It was quite funny watching them have their feeding session because there's like three or four different platforms that have been set up and each one is kind of for a different group, different family or a different clan and you can see that there were some <laughs> monkeys that were kind of circling around the bottom trying to get hold of the food and one of the bigger males that was protecting the food was kind of like just jumping and protecting it. It's quite quite funny to watch actually and there's kind of loads of little fights happening in between the monkeys that from time to time. And the funny thing is the male made like a really weird burping sound and I overheard one of the tour guides say that that's actually the male putting down his mark, claiming his territory, telling him not to come over. Yeah so the diet that they've got here is they've fed pancakes, sweet pancakes and cucumbers. That's, you know what, that doesn't sound too bad actually. I probably wouldn't mind having a couple of bites of them because I am starving as well. And you know what guys, the longer the nose, the more handsome they are. <laughs> Thank you. That guys is us finished up from the proboscis monkey sanctuary. Definitely, definitely worth coming if you want to check out the monkeys. You're really, really close to them. Surprisingly, like very close to them. So I would definitely recommend checking this place out. Let's go then. Hey. Hey. So guys, we've had an amazing day. We have now arrived at Arabic food because we fancied some Arabic food. We did indeed and I was so surprised we found this here because it looks and tastes absolutely delicious. Let's give you a gander, shall we? Look at that. So we hope you enjoyed this video guys, don't forget to subscribe and like this channel, press that bell icon so you're notified when we upload our next video and we'll see you on the next one. Follow your visions guys and we'll see you on the next one.